Okay, here's the first one. I don't know how many we're gonna make, but it takes about 18 hours. Come on, there you go, 18 hours. There it is. Hey everyone, Morgan here. I am ecstatic to be 3D printing our own tower garden. This thing is so cool. It has come together over a 30 day period. I'm going to be talking about that later, but just little by little putting it together. It's just been miraculous to see it come together. I've always wanted a tower garden and they've just been out of our budget, but we have a 3D printer. So we decided let's 3D print one. Let's see how it goes. So here's one divider. Here's the smaller divider that we did. Like this one's much older. All right, so the spacers are all done. This looks just perfect with these spacers. It just looks great. You know, it gives lots of room for everything. And we're doing, a, we need to do a couple more runs to do four of these at a time. It takes about 16 hours. So, you know, one, one day, you know, let's just say, you know, one more day. So a few more days to get all these done. And yeah, there we go. These are just awesome. And we gotta make a trip to the hydroponic store. All right, so I'm gonna talk about some of the other components that we did, but basically, so this whole thing is 3D printed except the bucket <laughs> and the, the pump and the hose. Those are really the only things, not really, they are the only things that were not 3D printed. These are 3D printed, just everything. This is a little top in which the water is gonna come up through the hose and come down and, and evenly disperse the water. Uh, there's also, this is actually the connector that was 3D printed. You know, the screws are not 3D printed, obviously. This is the connector for the bucket, for the system to hook to the bucket. And then uh, there's a little filter. Where's the filter? I actually took it out for this test. Oh. Oh, okay. This filter, 3D printed, just goes like right in there. It'll go like right around in between that stuff so that it catches anything that might fall down. Also 3D printed. We're gonna have one more piece right here that's for filling. Yes, to fill the water so we're not having to open up the bucket every time and all that. Yeah, that, like this. Yeah, that we're not going to have to do that. Yeah. Right? This is just for the test, the initial startup. Okay, so let's do a test. Okay, so this whole system, we were just talking about this, but we would say if we had to like overestimate, we're about $100 into this period. Um, most tower gardens these days, especially like the really expensive ones, are going for, you're going to pay a total of $700 to $800. Now, of course, you can find cheaper ones, but... You know, and of course, like, if you don't have a 3D printer, you're not going to be doing this. And then you have to buy the 3D printer and then do this, you know. But this is not going to be for everyone. But this, for us, made more sense than buying something. You know, we can just 3D print it ourselves. And even with the pump and, you know, the tiny bit of cable and everything, $100 max on this. All the filament and everything that it took. Time, about one month. It took about one month to print all of this. It just takes time to print the 3D stuff. But worth it. Each, of, each of these sections was almost a full day's worth of printing. Yeah. For just the section, not including the baskets. Yeah. Each set of four baskets was about another entire day. Yeah, and then the spacers, and I mean everything, you know. The, the little um, filter inside, I mean, we, literally everything. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> da, 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 da. So, here's the bucket. Mm, these are little connectors in there. There's actually a mesh screen in there to keep things. We just turned it on with the pump. So this is a intake for water and for nutrients, and that's all that this is, and it'll have a cap here in just a little bit. A little hole for the plug. Then we have all this. All this has been 3D printed. And then this is the top where, yeah, husband's getting the, uh, this is to hold the, um, the lights. Lights will come out, out here. I'll attach right there. There's four of them. Yeah. So anyway, I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, then this can come off, but we can see that the, okay, that it's, it's going right now. So the water is being pumped up. The water is in there in the bucket. It's being pumped up with the pump into here, you know, through that up here, and then it goes down. So we can see, a, I don't know if you can open up. The, here, get just a little side because the pressure the pressure yeah so it's like basically getting yeah pushed up to that little center part and then being pushed down 
so that everything here gets sufficient water. Yeah, I just see a little bit of water. Yeah, that's water. You can see it. The lights have been installed mostly. They just need to be like plugged in and connected. Yeah, wired. Yeah, wired up. But oh man, it's almost there. Here it is in all of its glory. We decided to find a nice little spot in the basement. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill it with water. This little filling is great. So it's a five gallon bucket so I can fill it with, you know, up to maybe four and a half ish gallons, something like that. But I decided to start with strawberries and lettuce. I would also like to plant some dwarf tomatoes and some other things in there as well. But this is an experiment. I love to experiment if you know anything about me. So I'm just gonna have fun and see how it goes. There's the lights on. Oh, I'm just admiring it right now. It is so freaking cool. We decided to put a little uh, sheet over it just to kind of block some of the light since we're always down here. And here it is. I have a few that slots that still need to be filled with something to grow, but I cannot wait to see it growing and starting to thrive. Thank you all so much for watching Conquer Tomorrow by preparing today. More details down below in the description about our 3D printer and how we found the 3D print to do this ourselves.